The Red Dingo. This has been my go-to board for the last few years and I've been working a lot on this design. Trying to get a hybrid surfboard that performs just like a, a short board. So this board here is a 7.6, um, which I would ride up to overhead. The blue one over there, that's an eight footer, which I sort of use when it's crowded on the weekends and uh, use it at bells. I surf it down to a 6.8, which is the purple one. And that's what I would ride at lower trestles, or I have been riding. The one next to it is the red rail one, which is a 7.4 by 22 and a half by three and a quarter, and that's the one I've just been using on a recent trip to Indonesia. And I had some really good fun waves there. Um, uh, there was a bit of a right hand, and there was probably sort of waist height, or maybe double overhead, uh, a bit like bells. And uh, it was too good a wave not to surf. What else are you gonna do in Indonesia? And uh, I had a ball on this board. And when I was very tired at night, after surfing all the other spots, that was my go-to board at night because I could just cruise in, uh, get lots of waves without tiring myself out too much. Nice and stable on the takeoff, and you can still slam it around and do a few turns. To me, it's uh, I've spent a lot of time and effort over the last few years developing basically from nine foot down to six six um, a great hybrid surfboard that can be surfed as a thruster or as a quad. I prefer the thruster because I'm old school and I like doing the, maybe the half man turns. I'm sure once upon a time they were man turns, but maybe it's half a man, you know, half a man turn. But uh, I really love this design board and um, people, people who have surfed these boards just come back to me and go, wow, how good's this? I can still rip, but I can catch waves and I'm back in the game. Here we go, this is the logo that goes with the design.